So when did you know it was time to leave? Was it, was it not at your last year at college, but was it like the year before your last year? Like, when did you know, like, I can go, I can go pro? My, my second, my junior year, I knew I had the ability and I was looked at as an NBA player. And I was like, man, if I'm able to enter the draft early, like, this is going to be huge. This is bigger than anybody could have ever expected and exceeded any expectation. And so back then, you didn't leave school to become a second-round pick. And there was a team that guaranteed to draft me in the second round, but I was nervous because if you get drafted in the second round, you could get cut and then not, um, not make it. And then, you, then where would you be? Yeah, sure. So I decided to come back to school. I knew we could uh, achieve something special. And, you know, I, I, I love to ask, uh, you know, I'm, I'm fine with that decision, although I got hurt my senior year and then went undrafted. Yeah. I really, um, you know, I really wanted to, I really wanted to, to use that to inspire young players in London and Africa for them to see like somebody that looks like them and who came from the same background they did, came from Tottenham, Hackney, wherever, and made it to let them know that it's achievable. And, you know, going undrafted was difficult, but, you know, I like to think still make it, being able to make it to the league was, um, was, 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 was still good enough. So going on drafted during your draft workouts, who did you work out for? Man, I, uh, maybe you should ask who I didn't work out for. It was like did you work out for everyone. For my 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 junior year, I did like fifteen work, fourteen, fifteen workouts. My senior year, I did like twenty five. So there was like another five teams that I didn't work out. Didn't work out for. What was your from memory? What was the best workout you had for which team? Good question. Uh, I want to say my junior year, I had a workout against Linus Claser. He ended up um, playing. Did he play for Golden State? It was the workout was in Golden State, but I'm trying to figure out where he ended up getting drafted to. But he had a great career. No, no, he played for Toronto and a few other teams. Mm-hmm. But he had a great career in Europe too. And when I tell you that we were going at it, we were just competing, going at it, and um, that was one of the best ones. Another one I had. It's funny enough, if everybody's watching the Last Dance uh, documentary, it was for the Knicks, and Isaiah Thomas was running the workout. Yeah, yeah. And I remember, man, it is going great against one of my college rivals who went to La Salle, and we was comp- we both ended the draft early. And I remember Trevor Ariza was sitting there watching, and I was having a great workout. We playing one on one, and Isaiah's doing a he's doing a drill where we have to get open and he's going to pass us the ball. And he's throwing all these crazy passes and like that I didn't think anybody could make. And he's doing them. And I'm catching the alley-oop and he throws one. And I get a chance to get a good, like, one-two or run up to it. And I jump as high as I could. And I remember jumping in the air and my, my knee is bent and my foot gets caught in the guy's jersey. <laughs> flips me. Uh, flips me around and I hit my head on the floor. Damn. And everybody was like, oh, damn, I think he could have really hurt himself. And I'm lying there. I shake it off and I get up and I'm like, all right, let's go. It's the Africa. And he's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> You could have really hurt yourself. Let's just slow it down. So they had to end the workout. But I just remember it. Like, they were like, how did you get hurt? And he was like, he caught his foot in someone's jersey. Like, well, how high could you have been for you to have had your foot in someone's jersey? I was like, I, all I remember is just getting flipping and hitting my head. And oh, yeah. <laughs> one, this is probably my favorite. Um, and one, there's no social media, there's no video, and it's like like my brother and the Brooklyn Ready story. Yeah. I would like to. I, I, I think this could compare to that. Um, I remember it was at combine pre uh, pre draft camp, and I was having I was having I was struggling. I wasn't having a good camp, and like this last game, I was like. I, have to do something I gotta figure it out I gotta do something and I remember the game is going on and I think I, I deflect the ball and one of my teammates get it so I break out so I break out and I get it I take a job I'm like I'm about to do something special and there's a defender behind me I'm thinking he's just gonna let me go yeah. but he like swipes and like hits me on my arm but I was already in the process of getting ready to windmill it Mm-hmm. So I, I I do it and he doesn't hit me hard enough and I windmill it and one and the whole gym goes crazy. 
the whole gym goes ballistic. Like the coaches standing up and people yelling, and <laughs> we come back to the timeout, and the coach is like, "You probably just got yourself drafted." <laughs> and obviously, I didn't, but it was just a story where people still come up to me like, "Man, did you see that? You remember when you did that?" And I really wish that we could have had uh, you know, like that recorded. You know, now they show the sure. on TV and ESPN and everything, and yeah. it would have been really dope to have seen that. But yeah, that's that's one that uh, that's a memory that I'll never forget. So for the kids over here and in Africa, I don't know what happens when you go to a draft combine or like a workout for a team before the draft. What's it like? Um, what did it like? Obviously not detailed. It can be longer. I just mean like, what's a rough, rough, um, a rough idea of it for everyone to get a yeah, rough idea of it is you come in and the teams want want to see what you can do. Mm-hmm. Obviously, they they brought you in for a reason and they want to see up close your skills and what if you possess an NBA skill and what you can bring to the table. So, you know, there's a lot of, you know, you warm up, usually, you know, do some drills. They'll do some physical drills like a uh, vertical test. You know, they do the agility test or maybe do some sprints to see your physical abilities. Then they may do some shooting drills um, and chart your numbers on that one. They may play one-on-one. Um, they're going to throw in a couple of things where they're going to see if you're listening. Because being able to listen and and implement what you're being taught immediately stands out to coaches, and they want to see everybody who's able to do that. So, you know, they do that, and then you know, again, like I said, there's drills, there's shooting, and then the one-on-one was always my favorite part. You get to compete. Whenever you can compete is 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 the biggest biggest thing, and that's one thing they're going to see how you how you defend, how you play in one-on-one, how competitive you are. Um, if you can implement what we what they showed you in the drills in the one on one, so I um, that's that's this you know at a high level that's that's basically what the workouts are like. I mean, if you think about it. My rookie year, I was I was in Dallas, mm-hmm. and that was the year Dirk won MVP, and so I had to guard him every day in practice. And you know, I'd like to think I used to do a good job on him. And one day I caught myself. Um, talking trash I was talking trash and you know I was out here missed a couple shots and this that third Mm. and (laughs) this is this is the ultimate trash talk and it humbled me to the to this day man it was it was (laughs) was the best way to to neutralize somebody who thinks they're doing a good job so um I'm guarding him and then he's like chill out young fella and I was like no I don't be mad because I'm I'm locking you up he's like locking me up I've been playing with my left hand this whole time. Wow. He was playing with his left hand. And, and I was like, what? And the next play, he comes down, makes a move, and shoots it with his left. That's crazy. I was like, the disrespect. <laughs> that's, how that's how great he was. And I was like, yeah, it was, even though I felt like I was doing a good job, he was just going through the motions and working on his game and working on something different. And I'm thinking, 